Today, we're gonna to install the Google Camera app on our Pixel 5 running Graphene OS. We're gonna take some images on this tripod to try to keep the camera in the same position and compare the images to the stock camera app. I'll also do some video comparisons as well and we can see the difference in quality. So first, we need to install the Google Camera app on our Graphene OS device and I will demonstrate that right now. So first you're gonna to wanna to download Aurora Store and that's where we're gonna get our Google Camera app from. But before we download Google Camera app, what you wanna do is go to apps and download Google Services Framework and Google Play Services. Google Services Framework needs to be installed first before Google Play Services. However, if you try to install Google Play Services first, it will automatically show that Google Services Framework is a dependency and you can choose to install both at the same time. So I'm gonna do that. Hit install all. So now if we go back, you can see that rather than install, both Google Play Services and Google Services Framework now says open. That means that they're both installed. Next, let's download Google Camera. So we go to Aurora Store and we type in Google Camera. And we'll click on Google Camera, we'll hit install. And once it's done installing, now rather than install, this button now shows open. So let's go back. And if we go to our app drawer, we can see that the camera app is now on. So now we have the stock camera app and the Google camera app. So at this point, if you wanted to, you can go right into the Google camera app and start using it. However, there are a few tweaks that I like to make before using Google Camera App. So let's go to settings, we'll go to apps, we'll go to see all apps, and we will go to the Google Camera App here. And what we're gonna do is lock down the permissions. Because it is a Google app, I don't want any telemetry being sent to Google. So to ensure that, I'm gonna turn off network, which eliminates the ability for the app to connect to the internet and also sensors. And then next, what I also like to do is go to both the Google Play Services and Google Services framework that we installed and adjust the permissions for those as well. And for Google Services, network and sensors are off by default, so that's good. Now at this point, I know that Google Camera won't be able to send out any telemetry and now I'm comfortable using the app. So now let's open the Google Camera app. Let's make sure that it opens correctly before we start taking pictures and taking video. So here it's gonna ask a few permissions questions. I personally don't want the camera app to access location, so I'm gonna hit don't allow. Yes, I want it to record audio. And yes, I do want the camera app to access photos and videos on this device, and this is needed because once you take a picture, it's gonna to need to save the photo. But for me, rather than clicking allow, I like to hit on configure storage scopes, enable storage scope. And what this does is the pictures that Google Camera App takes, those are the only files that the Google Camera App can access. So if you have any other file on your device, because it did not originate from the Google Camera App, the Google Camera app cannot access those other files. So once we configure storage scopes, now we're in. So I'm gonna bypass that. And if we do a quick lift up of the phone, we can see that we can see the table here. So at this point, we're good. Let's go take some photos and videos. Yeah. 